Hey folks, what's up? Mike here with the watch list video for tomorrow Wednesday. Yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday, August 28th. Um, this morning, I posted in chat, my advice for the rest of the week and next, dial back expectations. It's really low volume out there. And that's, that's almost always true. The last week of August, we've got the holiday. Um, the coming, this coming Monday, the market's closed. And then you got a four day week after a holiday kind of end of summer and um, it feels like there's maybe 18 people in the around the planet that are trading and sadly I'm one of them so not a lot of great opportunities but still um, some decent setups today uh, there's the spy we're just kind of chugging along sideways extremely low volume um, Joseph DA gave a, a trade in VOXX um, let's just go to five minute candles uh, it's just a second mouse through five right there. And it went almost immediately to 547. You're a day trader. You know that that was money. It was a great idea by uh, Joseph D.A. Um, I also gave, or Miguel gave the five buy zone, which is right about there, right? And you got a nice move from there too. And then I was going to also point out um, H-A-I-N, which I gave a rare early twos buy zone idea over the mic. So let me switch to two minute candles. Um, usually I won't call something in the twos buy zone at, you know, what time was this at 10 o'clock? Um, I want, I kind of want more information, but I did, I called it and the middle of twos buy zone was right around eight dollars and 50 cents. Um, I know I saw some people take that and it went to 920. So a 70 cent move on about 15 cents risk, maybe stop was below the 20 there. Um, yeah, maybe 15 cents risk, maybe maybe 20 i don't know so that was a nice r move as far as uh, risk versus reward and all that too so but not a lot of highlights and you can see how it closed way off its high so anyway let's talk about what we're watching tomorrow and hopefully catch some trades put this in there real quick if you've never read that pause the video and read it i would argue most of you have read that by now um so what are we going to be watching tomorrow for potential trades voxx big breakout today but closing well off its highs definitely goes on the watch list EH, I'm just putting it on there because it had a nice earnings pop right here and is holding up fairly well. Um, ASST, you guys know I like to focus on the recent high flyers, right? ASST, just quiet inside day, maybe through two tomorrow. Maybe we make a, a, a run at the recent high of 234 from the day before. Um, JBDI, wait for this chart, you ready? Oh yeah, it's only been trading for one day. Um, had quite a range though, from 460 to 1250 before closing at what, 1012? So it's only got one day of history, but you know what? Uh, that makes it kind of an in-play stock. So we're going to watch it. ENR, nice breakout today. Maybe a follow-through day tomorrow. Not a lot of volume, but um, that's the market we're in. BBAI, I'm still interested in this one. Seems to have found support. You had the gap up on good news, pulled back, found support. Um, you know, I love it over recent highs, but maybe, whoops, maybe somewhere around this horizontal line would be enough to get it to challenge the recent highs. Anyway, the headline sounded pretty good um, on the day it popped. AIXI, this one's a little weird, but it's getting extra volume lately. And uh, you know, maybe over this high. So I don't know, we'll keep an eye on it. I have no idea why it's getting that volume. Now QXO, I'm gonna have to switch around here because you can't tell anything by looking at it like this, right? So I'm gonna go to 15 minute candles. Um, and you can see yesterday it had a pretty nice pop. I think it was, touted on CNBC, if I'm not mistaken. It, you know, went from like 1460 something, almost up a buck there. And then today, topped out, it looks like at exactly 15, hit it a couple times. So maybe through 15 tomorrow, then we can make a challenge at this recent high of 1545 and 1561. Again, when I go back to the daily, you don't see a setup at all, right? Because everything's scrunched together because of the moving averages and all that. So anyway, QXO goes on watch. GOVX, I'm putting on Bounce Watch, one of the monkeypox plays. It's getting down. You guys know I like this area between the 8, there it is, the 8 EMA and the 20 EMA. So somewhere in this area around 545, if it gets there, might be uh, an area where that it, where it might turn. So we're going to watch it on an intraday basis, see if it gives a setup or one of our Bounce Play setups that we teach. PDD, which I think is the parent company of Timu, um, just got decimated last couple days. Um, so it's a good a good setup for a potential snapback bounce for a day trade. So that one goes on watch. TGTX, I'll put the horizontal line right here at this high from whatever the date was, July 17th, right? 
Um, it broke out nicely above that right here. And now we have pulled back to retest that breakout area also between the eight and the 20, an area I like um, you know, for a possible bounce anyway. So that one goes on bounce watch. And then J-U-N-E, as I'm talking to you, um, this thing closed at 466, it's trading at six bucks and went as high as 698 in after hours. So that's potential gapper tomorrow. Um, and then we'll add other gappers in the pre-market. I should be in the room a little bit after 6 a.m. So if we find some more gappers, we'll add them to the gap playlist. And let's find some trades tomorrow. All right, I'm done babbling. We'll see you in chat.